The third quarter final in the Amber Springs and Ashdown Park Hotel Intermediate Football Championship is Timon Camros against Navena and we'll get Andy's thoughts. You played both of these in the knockout stages last year. Yeah, I suppose we played Timon in, in New Ross in the quarter final last year. Um, yeah, they actually didn't put up much of a fight on the day but they looked organised enough, like they had game plans for their kickouts uh, and things like that. But uh, yeah, Barry O'Gorman was centre back from a um, very strong player. Tries to get on a lot of ball for them and carry it forward. They've young Connor Murphy, who's only 19. He's a lovely footballer, two footed, really, really, really good ball carrier as well. He's definitely one to watch. Um, I'm sure Soggy O'Gorman as well, or Stephen O'Gorman, uh, a very good player. Gory for us, um, last year looking back on it, they had us best in the semi final. Um, they led us the whole game. Um, and I think it was with about two minutes left, we dropped the ball in. We were, four, we were three or four points down and Paddy Deverick's punched it to the net and we ended up getting the point then at the very end of the game to, to, to literally steal it off him. And has Conor Deverick's got over that miss yet? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> he hasn't really and we haven't been letting him get over the, the miss. We can still hear the commentary. <laughs> I, I think it was you, you said it was the, 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 the easy, yeah, the worst miss I've ever seen. That, that's a harsh on <laughs> I hope it's going to be played at the end of this video now for everyone else to see. But uh, I think Gory are probably going to have too much for Timon in this game. Um, they have a lot of young lads. I know that Gory Community College last year, they won the All-Ireland in the B, and I think they had four or five lads on the Navena team um, playing right up the heart of that of that, uh, the six, fifth, six year team. So I think Gory are going to be young. They're going to have more legs and they're a good footballing team, so I think that they'll probably have too much for Timon. And you played Timon a couple of weeks ago, Patrick. What did you make of them that day? Yeah, we played them opening game in the Championship, um, lost by two points. I think at one stage they were about six points up on us, and we got a few quick scores to get but a bit closer. They controlled the ball for a lot in the second half, then I think, you know, like we said, um, Ian Carty and, and Joe Gorman's, you know, big players, a lot of work there, a lot well organised. Slight concern with the Mun boys is they came out, they won three games, they qualified, and now since they've lost two games, in those two losses, I think they can see the late 25. So it's, you know, it's hard. In fairness to them, they're in the county final in the Hurling, you know, to put it up to Ullert and that. And, you know, they came out, they won the three games, they got their job done, but, you know, it's hard to go into a quarter final after two losses. Now, yeah. that would always be a concern for me, and, you know. So while the camera is focused on you, who's going to win this one? My only concern, like I said, is. With the form, losing two games and conceding so much, I'd have to give it to Navain on that alone. They've you know, they've they've literally won Drew, won one their last four games. Form, young team. Yeah, I'd have to give it to Navain I think on this one. Andy? Yeah, I'd have to agree. Um, I think Navain are a young team, very different than the hurling team. There's a lot of lads with passion for football in the club. I think they want to bring it to the next level and I fancy Navain here six, seven points. And I'm going to go for Navena as well, but I don't think it's going to be quite as large a margin as six or seven points. I'm going to go for maybe Navena by two or three points. 